Glort seems to have shipped a new update that allows you to publish artifacts. Now, no, they did not send an email. They just published this update. And I'm assuming because the product is or the feature is still in beta. So they didn't, didn't send out an email yet. But I was able to find the new button there since I use Glort a lot and I went ahead and tried it out. You can see I've created this chart uh, that is a basic visualization of, you know, the progress of AI over the last few years. And I have a publish button here, which allows you to publish this artifact. Now I went ahead and I published and I unpublished this again. So I can't republish it per se, but I'm going to be starting a new chat for you. And I'm going to show you how you can publish, let's say a graph that you want to share with someone in your team, or maybe you want to share a quick graph with the leadership, with the internal leadership per se, right? So I'm, I'm just going to look up some data online first. So I'm looking at the population chart of India from 1955 to 2024. Obviously, if I were to look at this data, it's not very helpful because it, this has too much or too many numbers. Let's say I want to visualize this. So I'm going to go to Claude. I'm going to paste this data set here. I wish there was a cleaner way to do this, but let's just paste this here. And I'm going to say, can you create interactable visualization for the above data? Create a React component using the recharts. So recharts is apparently a library in, oh yeah, I need to use Claude P. Opus because I have used the sonnet. So let's just go ahead and do this again. So simpler prompt. Now I'm just going to say, can you create a React component to visualize the above population data in, oh yeah, it should be JavaScript. And then I'm going to say recharts. The reason why we want to use recharts and React component is because currently Claude will be able to run both of these things directly in the browser here versus if you were to put something like Python, then it wouldn't run it right. Now, right. So it's important that you uh, use React or JavaScript based language. The other important thing that you also need to know is that you can't use libraries that require you to install their own packages, right? So for example, recharts is a part of Node.js or JavaScript and comes pre-installed with JavaScript. So I don't have to install anything that becomes easier for me to run that code in here, as opposed to if I was using something on the lines of, let's say chart.js, then I'll have to install that library. So you can see it was able to generate the graph for me and it was able to help me visualize the data. Now the new feature that Claude hasn't told us about yet is the fact that you can now publish this data. So let's go ahead and click it, click the publish button here and then publish and copy the link. Now let's go to the new tab here and paste the link here. And you can see, I am now able to access this data publicly. The interesting part is that if you share this with someone else, they will be able to open it, I think in incognito too. Yeah, I'm actually accessing incognito right now. I'm able to access the chart in incognito. So you you were probably weren't able to see the screen because I opened it in the new tab or browser, but I was able to visualize this. So this is very, very powerful that you can now publish artifacts and let's say someone from your team reaches out to, you know, create a visualization or tell you, tells you to create a visualization for publishing growth. You can just use Claude by plugging in data, fill in uh, the details with respect to the libraries that you want to use. So let's say using recharts in this scenario and then create visualization like this. The other thing you can also do is that you can create documents and also publish those documents, right? And by the way, if you want to unpublish this, just click here and then click on unpublish. I wonder if I can use this as, let's say this component on my website, if you, if I'd want to, right? Because essentially it's still a live website. Maybe I can use an iframe by trimming or bringing the chart in the middle. So let's see if I can actually do that. Can you bring or align the chart in the middle, make it more modern, add some headers. Let's see if we're able to do this for some of the, uh, and I don't think why we shouldn't be able to do this because it's essentially a react fragment, right? It's a react component that you can, uh, embed on the website. So if we're able to do this. Then I think, uh, I think it's real progress on the lines of publishing data that genuinely sounds and looks good in real time. So you can see it is showing the graph uh, or it is showing the component, but it has no data. Right? Now the reason is simple is because it wasn't able to pull the data. So if you open the code, you can see it has not added the actual data. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say share full code with data. And that should probably change the visualization because now it also has access to data and it's supposed to share the whole code with data. I don't think it will still work though. Like for example, because it's using slash UI slash card, which is an external library. So I don't think it will be able to work as it's supposed to, but let's see if you're able to remove this and still visualize. I hope you get the point, right? So essentially you can now 
now publish your artifacts directly from Cloud. And this could be a document too. So if I go to Cloud and I'm going to say, can you write an essay on the evolution of humans? Right. So when you plug this in, uh, this should essentially create an artifact, which yeah, I'm out of limits. So I'll have to choose a new job. Keep making this mistake. Can you write an essay on the evolution of humans and i'm going to select opus and i'm going to save 1200 words in the meantime let's look at our chart here you can see the visualization is not generated so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to add this here and i'm going to say please do not use any external imports use the libraries that come with react so i hope we should be able to remove ui card with this let's see if it's sharing the updated code it unfortunately also removed uh, react or recharts anyway so the point being that you can publish visualizations like this and then also make it look fancy by adding headers and you know centering the visualization and so on and you can also publish things like these so let's say this essay once it's generated you can actually publish it now think about it from the standpoint of vendor documentation where you want to get the first level review of your generation you can actually generate an artifact publish it share it with your manager he'll review and give you feedback and they can also go ahead and remix your art artifact so let's click here so once you click on remix the artifact it will essentially open a new window which will choose the default model you have enabled in my scenario it's going to be Claude 3.5 so net and because i'm out of limit it's going to show an error so point b you can actually play around with the artifact make some changes in the code and then based on the new output you can also publish your own artifact i don't know what other use case exists for something like this except for the fact that you can generate something and share it with external users or maybe you can have your product documentation uh, done on the artifact and then publish the link to that documentation it's not very clear at this point of time but it seems that they are heading in the direction where the documents can be hosted and published using their own cloud platform so let me know what you guys think of this and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next